Hello everyone! So, in this video I'll be doing my first tutorial, which is a inner and outer glow of a character by using After Effects. So here in After Effects, uh, you're going to see a dog uh, doing a jump cycle. You're probably curious as to what kind of software I'm using, which is called Adobe Animate. And you can actually download the software in the description, which is below this video. And if you want to know how to import this character, uh, all you have to do is go to Import, File. You can just click on this file and go to Import. Take a while and you can just leave it as Choose Folder and you can just click OK but we're not going to do that because we already have the assets here which is all the assets of the character so next we are going to do the lighting effect but first off if you want to know how to like apply the assets. It's pretty easy. Just drag and drop all the layers into this timeline and then you'll be all set for that. Just make sure that it's in order. So just in case we want to pre-compose this character, which we are going to do right now, uh, then just make sure that everything is all in the right place. So let's start pre-composing. So first off, we're going to select the right ear, the body, and the left ear since these are the main parts of the character. And what you have to do is go to pre-compose. And since this is the only option, we're not going to do anything about that. Just click OK. And now we have the character all merged together except the flame or the other parts of the of the subject itself so we're just gonna ignore these assets since they're all separated and we will be making another kind of lighting for this one well it's actually going to be the same thing so first off we're just just gonna start off with the body or we can actually rename this as the body, of course. In order to have this effect work, is that we have to right-click by using the mouse button and go to Layer Style, the Inner Glow, and what? this does is it's going to actually make the character inside the character itself to glow um, so we're going to click on inner glow and first we have to change the size of the glow since we can't really see it I'll try to zoom in a little bit. So yeah, so what you're seeing right now is the character uh, having this rim light effect, which means the lighting is actually on the edges, but we can't really see it right now. So what you have to do is go to size, click, and you can see that it will gradually increase the size. So, but we're not going to choose this kind of color. What you see from the intro is actually blue. And if you want to change the color, we can go to this section, which is the color section. And then just click on the rectangle with the color on it. And as you can see, you can change the color of the glow. Uh, select this kind of color and then click OK. And 
then as you can see, um, we actually changed the color. But if you think this isn't enough for you, um, you can also change the opacity, in which um, create a transparent glow on this character. Um, so if you want to make it a little bit more opaque, uh, just increase the value to 100, or if you just wanted to make it a, lot, a little bit dimmer, you can just decrease it. Um, whatever you want, we got our first lighting of this character. But if you want to make it more glowy, very godly type of lighting, um, then you can just go to another layering style over here and go to Outer Glow. So what you're seeing right now is the lighting that is actually outside the character. The process is just as the same as the Inner Glow. So we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So first off we go to the Outer Glow, which is here. And again, we have to change the size. Make it stand out a little bit. So again, we're not going to choose that color. We're going to choose another bluish. So I think that will be enough. And then again, if you want to change the opacity, you can just drag and make it a little bit brighter. Get a little bit bigger, and now we have our outer glow. Okay, so the final process will be the set channel. So this is actually a, going to be a little bit optional. So what you can see here is that I just recompose this character, and what we're going to do is we are going to apply the set channel by going to effects and presence. And we are going to type in that channel. So left click and drag the effect to this layer and use and then it will show up this effect control. So what that channel actually do is is that it will eventually split up into different sources. What you can see here is we have red, green, and blue. So before we do all that, is that we have to hold control if you're using Windows or command if you're using Apple. So I'm just gonna hold in control and then press D or dog on the hotkey then it will duplicate, and then we are going to do it again. And now we have three layers. So what we're going to do is we are going to turn this off, and then this one, we're just gonna leave this source, which is the blue. And as you can see, it's basically starting to change the color a bit. Now we're going to we're going to the second layer and this time we are going to turn this off and then turn this off and then finally turn this off and then turn this off. First off, we right click and then we go to blending mode and we will go to screen which I I believe I already did that. So, so I'll just do it for this for all the layers. Okay. So, and then finally, we will either press P on the hotkey, P as in pizza, or we can just go to transform and go to position. We drag 
the spores um, just slightly. Okay, so what you're seeing here is that I'm actually separating each of the sources from the character. So I'm going to again press P on the second layer and I'm just doing the same thing. I know it's not perfect, but I'm just setting an example. So, and finally, we can actually pre-compose this one more time. So now that we have our inner, outer glow, and set channel of this character, we can finally preview what it looks like. Hopefully I'll be making more tutorials. So thank you very much and I hope you enjoyed this video and see ya!